Okay, I have another tutorial request from the Vampire King. And this one says, Can you do another skin tutorial but with using a little gray like you used to in your Cobra skin practice video? Um, sure. She means by using grays from this old bunch. Usually I don't... Ignore that, it's going to be 800 zervits. Hang on for a second. From... Yes! I was right! <laughs> 800 service. Okay, sorry about that phone call. So... Shut up, you stupid phone! Finally. Okay. I'm sorry about that interruption. So she wanted me to use a normal skin tone combo with a gray in it. Mm, last time I checked it didn't go too well. Well these are guys shadings and this was like last year. Maybe I have improved over the year. Let's go to the room. Just blocking out the dirty room. Oh I forgot the camera stand. Here it is. Alright, I drew a face on this last one, just to save some time. Alright, I twisted it up. Now I'm just going to set this camera stand into a scorpion position, real quick. And... Alright, now I will use my normal skin tone colors, E quadruple zero, E triple zero, E double zero, RO one, whoops, RO one, and RO two. I'm going to fill this out first, then I'll use like the gray tones last to indicate more depth into the picture. So I'm going to do this very quick without the color splendor. So actually, I will use the color splendor. Hang on for a second. Do 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 do. do. Colorless blender. Of this. I'm just going to do the face, not the shoulders. I hope there's no glare while I'm doing this. Darn, I should have played my iPod. Oh well. Then I used the R01. I'm not going to care too much. E double zero was right.
Okay. E triple. Zero. Oh, I forgot the E double on the chin. There it goes. I forgot the R20. All right, let me use the R20 real quick. Go, 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 go. Ooh, look at this tip. Is that demented? All right, and now I blend it all out with the E quadruple zero. Oh, my ears itchy. Yay. Why Coldplay? Why do you have to make me have paradise stuck in my head? Why? Alright. Now that I've done that, which tone will I use? I'm thinking like a C1 or a C3. I'll use the C3. Because before I used the gray tones before I added the skin tones. But now I'm going to do it afterwards. How dark is this? Maybe I will use a C1 instead. Okay. C1. C1. Or maybe C3 because it's darker. Sorry, I can't decide because I have not done this in a long time. Especially using gray tones. Yikes. Well, maybe instead of using great tones for like the darkest shade you could use like a BB02 that would work 02 cuz i think the grays will neutralize the those colors too well but if i added some form of color it will work out pretty well i don't know i'm still learning this and i don't use these kinds of tones too much. Hmm. I'm still improvising on this. Maybe if you use the e quadruple zero to blend it out a bit. Yikes, this sucks. I don't know. Let me go get that one book real quick. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! This book. example she adds like red tones in her face and this one she uses a lot of blue tones like that I'm usually I would end it somewhere something like this but if I add blue tones it'll give it more emotion but I still don't know how to do that that's why I'm still learning from this book and the artist oops glare Chalion from Demon Art. Look her up. It's, she's pretty good. She's really good. So, I would highly recommend this book. Wait, when did it become a book recommendation video? Oh, but still really good. That's how I learned how to do the new face shading to things from this page. Um, give me a second.
Here we go. Alright, and I have highlighted some parts that will be pretty helpful in the book. So, just practice for a while. Hmm, since I have plenty of time, maybe I could show you guys what I'm going to be doing today and tomorrow. First, let me go to the computer and show you what my main thing is. Oh, a Templar. Wait, no, I'm going to look at it later. Actually, I want to look at it now. Mangoes, yum. Check out this food blog. Blog. My sister showed me that. It says, The Lorax film will be released on DVD and Blu-ray on August 7th, 2012. Well, since tomorrow is August 7th... Dun 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 dun! Here it is. I've kept this for three... since March. And I'm gonna do some intense color te testing in this. I have some ideas, but I don't have a lot. So, once there, you're gonna get your greed on. Swag on. Swag, 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 swag. Oh, I should put highlights on this. Where's my white color gel pen? Oopsie, don't fall. Maybe I should do the eyes for fun. Eyes brown. E49. E forty seven E thirty seven and E double zero. Now I'm going to add little highlights to it. All right. Yay, it's shiny. Pretty, pretty, shiny, shiny. Sorry. Just to fill in that space. But it is your option to use gray tones or very light colored tones to add extra depth to the picture. So, that's it. Okay, I'm going to be choosing colors for this for the rest of the day and then color it tomorrow. So don't disturb me then. Bye.